Welcome to PSK video presentation. Today, we will discuss about the difference between amplitude modulation, frequency modulation, and phase modulation. This is our group member. We have total 5 group members in, in our group. This is the name list of our group member. AM stands for amplitude modulation. AM method of audio transmission was first successfully carried out in the mid 1870s. In AM, a radio wave known as the carrier and carrier wave is modulated in amplitude by the signal that is to be transmitted. The frequency and phase remain the same. AM has plural sound quantity compared with FM. But it's cheaper and can be transmitted over a long distance. It has a lower bandwidth, so it can have more stations available in any frequency range. For the for the frequency range AM radio range from five hundred and thirty-five to one thousand seven hundred and five kilohertz or up to one one thousand two hundred bits per second. For the bandwidth requirement, Plus the highest modulating frequency. In AM radio, broadcasting, the modulating signal has a bandwidth of 15 kHz and hence the bandwidth of an amplitude modulated signal is 30 kHz. For, for AM modulating, zero crossing in modulated signal is equidistance. Transmitter and receiver are simple but synchronization is needed in case of SSB, SC, AM carrier. AM is more susceptible to noise because the noise effect affects amplitude, which is where information is stored in an AM signal. Now proceed to frequency modulation. What is frequency modulation? The first frequency modulation radio was developed in the United States in the 1930s, mainly created by Edwin Armstrong. In frequency modulation, a radio wave known as the carrier or carrier wave is modulated in frequency by the signal that is to be transmitted. The amplitude and phase remain the same in the whole process. Frequency modulation is less prone to interference when compared with AM. However, frequency modulation signals are impacted by physical barrier and frequency modulation has better sound quality due to the higher bandwidth. The frequency range for FN radio uh, is exactly 88 to 108 MHz uh, when compared with AM is in a higher spectrum. Alright, basically the frequency modulated is twice the sum of the modulating signal frequency and the frequency deviation. If the frequency deviation is 75 kHz and the mod modulating signal frequency is 15 kHz, the bandwidth frequency required is 180 kHz. The frequency modulated is actually not equidistant and the transmitter and receiver are more complex as variation of the modulating signal and has to be converted and dictated from the corresponding variation in frequencies. The frequency modulated is less susceptible to noise because the information in a frequency modulated signal is transmitted through the varying both frequency and it doesn't not through the amplitude. That's all from me. Phase modulation, PM, is a method of inserting data onto an alternating current, AC, waveform by varying the instantaneous phase of the wave, it also called the carrier, varies in a continuous manner, thus there are infinitely many possible carrier phase states. Phase modulation is similar in practice to frequency modulation, FM. When the instantaneous phase of a carrier is varied, the instantaneous frequency changes as well. When the instantaneous frequency is varied, the instantaneous phase changes. 